yes that's right today we're in the water because there's no wind and it's hot i'm here with a capsized hobie 14 and some specialists who are here to test how much weight does it take to write a hobie 14. yes that's right it's joe here for joyrider tv and yes that's right we are going to see how much weight it takes to write a Hobie 14 with no wind. We're doing it in no wind because that means that the wind doesn't come into it. Add more wind, you will need less weight. So starting at the lightweight end of the, the lineup. Hello, I'm Lucy and I weigh 40 kilos. Why are you getting Hello, I'm Helene and I weigh 50 kilos. Hi, I'm Johnny, I weigh 60 kilos. Hi, I'm Clara, I weigh 70 kilos. Hi, I'm Ricky, I at all the pals, I weigh 80 kilos. Hello, my name's Joe, and I am coming in at 90 kilos, and I'm thinking I might not even get a go. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the lightest, and then work our way up to see how much weight we need. Stay tuned to the end, because there'll be a bonus feature that you won't want to miss. Okay, so we're starting off with Lucy in the 40 kilo category. So we're thinking this is optimistic. Lucy's going as low as possible without being in the water. And it is optimistic, but unfortunately on this occasion, Lucy does not have what it takes to write the Hobie 14. Thank you very much. Okay, so next we've got Helena in the 50 kilogram group we're getting some movement from the top of the mast she's giving it the pump but the 14 is saying no chance here I think okay so 50 kilograms in zero wind is not enough okay so next we've got a young lad Johnny he's 60 kilograms he thinks he's got what it takes what do you think? Put it in the comments below. Has Johnny got what it takes? He's got a little bit of movement from the top of the mast. The revelers are getting excited, but no, Johnny has admitted defeat there. Okay, so we think Clara's got what it takes. Clara coming from Germany, 70 kilos of pure German efficiency. She's no stranger to capsizing catamarans. Giving it the pump, still, it's that sail in the water is just dragging it down and unbelievable but 70 kilograms is just not quite enough so we're on board with rick in the 80 kilogram category rick's giving it the pump <laughs> but still but still that sail in the water causing quite a lot of drag if only Rick had a bit more determination he might be able to pull this off okay no cigar for Rick there okay so I'm in for the 90 kilo division who thought it was going to go this far this 14 has got a masthead float on it which might well, almost certainly is adding some weight to the top of the mast, which might be why we're struggling to get her up. Got the A-leader mesh barefoot shoes, great for this sort of thing, plenty of traction. Watch your head. <laughs> so there we go, 90 kilos and a modicum of technique seem to be enough there to bring the boat back upright. Now, that was with no wind. If we put more wind on it, like in a realistic wind where you would capsize, then you'd certainly be able to bring it upright with less weight. But now, let's go for that bonus feature. Okay, so for the bonus feature, we're going for the bag. So we've got approximately 40 kilos in the bag. This is Lucy's first time going for it with the bag. Okay, Lucy is feeling much heavier this time. All right, I think we're not, we're not winning here. 
Okay, so there we go with no wind. Lucy with about 40, maybe 35 kilos of water in the bag is not enough. Thank you, Lucy. So now we're going for Helena with 50 kilos plus the bag. It's a different technique with the bag. We are just raising a bit. But still, no joy at the top of the mast. Okay, so next we've got Johnny, 60 kilos, young and determined with the bag. That's it, and now really straighten out to get as far away from the boat as possible. That's it, you're so close, Johnny, come on. Determination, Johnny. Straighten out a bit. Yes. Keep, keep at it, Johnny. You've got this, Johnny. Yes, come in. All right. Oh, don't. Okay. So there we go. That was 60 kilos with the bag and a whole lot of determination. How did that feel for you, Johnny? Oh, tiring. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so thanks very much to the team, to Lucy, Rick, Clara, Helena, and Johnny. I hope that has been informative and entertaining to some degree. Thanks very much for coming along on this research experiment. Hopefully that will let you feel a little bit more confident when you're going out on your 14. Get yourself a bag. Thank you very much. There'll be more coming up soon on Joyrider TV. Woohoo!